Austin here with an American soda that is um, not strictly speaking impossible to get out, down under but it is a matter of luck and coincidence uh, not really it's what type you get I've never really seen this type in mainstream before and all because they usually go for the other one that's you know two and a half times the price a nicer bottle it's a very nice brand, so Americans are going to be going. I don't know what that flavor oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes. And the rest of you are going to be squinting, going, What the fuck are you talking about, boy? What do I get then? Well, there are specialist retailers who do distribute. I know one, at least, that'll ship anywhere in the world. And one of the. What is it? UPS or FedEx will go. Software is heavy. It takes up a fair bit of space, so the shipping rates are quite literally intergalactic. So don't say any warn you if you can't somehow get this in your country and you're thinking, I don't want that. Or I won't ship it to you. But that's probably the only way to get it without getting absolutely ass raped by shipping. And I mean raped. You might order a dozen cans in a box, $20, and ship it to Antipedia within two to four weeks. I think is the shipping, the sort of sort of economy fast, whatever they call it, is a, uh, I think that's like another hundred, and, well over a hundred US dollars. Um, I think it's like, Anywhere from 100 to 100 and I think 60, 70 US dollars. So we're talking about 200 and something Antipedian pesos to get a 12 soft drinks, depending exactly on the price of the shipping and the drinks. That's. Fuck. I don't have the patron page. And it's better than getting screwed 20 plus bucks a can on eBay. But I don't have a page page, so I can't keep up the date with what the hell's going on in America am I getting regular shipment, so bite me. <laughs> Alright, well, public service announcement, I've got to close announce the product. Virgil's! All natural hand crafted. Ooh. Ribbit. There we go. Oh, the good one in America, they break cane sugar! Well, it'll be very nice too. I'd say really because uh it's got real root beer, so it does have traces of caffeine in it naturally, actually. Um, the sort of tree root they use. Uh, I think that's sarsaparilla, but root beer and sarsaparilla, most people say they're interchangeable. They semantically are. I like to insist they're different. There's your nutritional panel, and it should have all the ingredients there. My semantics is um, root beer A is American, and B is sweeter. Has a stronger flavour of the root and should have licorice flavour tones in it, and it's allowed to have vanilla flavour tones to the point of wanting to projectile spit it in someone's face because it is and of, therefore vitriolically sweet. So, root beer tastes like well, the root that gives you your flavour, can have vanilla. It's often putridly sweet. No licorice flavor tones or aniseed flavor tones are allowed. That's in sarsaparilla. That's where I split the semantical line. I got in trouble for using the word semantical, but well, fuck it. It's YouTube, and this channel's rough, rating and sexy. I don't know who to. Feel free to write in below if you find that to be true, even in a completely. Hmm, that is a funny one. Ooh. Letter under a bottle. See, I've never, I don't think I've ever had a bottle like this because in Oz, you get the little flip top bottle and it's like eight bucks a bottle if you don't get fucked. It's like seven ninety five a bottle if you get it at a good price. So, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's little motherfuckers. They're playing games here. 
I just more sarsaparilla than root beer. This is a sort of product that confuses people. It's got a slight licorice flavour to it. It's very weird acidity. It was like like lemon juice, but I can't be absolutely certain. A rich, rich, licorice-esque flavour. A weird acidity. No vanilla, 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 and whatever to speak of, which arguably is essential for a root beer. I don't mean to just call it a sarsaparilla, you pussies. And it is, um, and right on the crossover point between sarsaparilla and root beer and sweetness. If this was a sarsaparilla, that'd be very sweet. I mean, that'd be, for how subtle the flavour is, I mean, come on. Because you can get away with blinding sweet as a sarsaparilla, it will also have a licorice and aniseed and that root flavour that will literally knock you on your fat ass. I mean, it'll wind you if you, know, if you don't know what you're doing. And that acidity is weird, it's conspicuous, and it's annoying. It's very annoying. <coughs> It is a beautiful, beautiful green guy. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's, 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 ignoring the semantics of what is what, it's beautifully sweetened. It's got a silky but delicate flavour that is just terrifying. It's like Megan Fox in the first Transformers movie, which is dripping sweat, and he can't help but, instead of a pain, show those weird angles. Hurrahs, hurrahs. This is pretty. Hurrahs, hurrahs, hurrahs. Oh yeah, she's kind of pretty too. It's like that, except you're getting a panning shot. That's how, that's how sexy this flavour is. Oh yeah, she's kind of pretty too. Um, but it is a sarsaparilla. Oh, it's not a root beer. It's, it's a really, really, really gourmand sarsaparilla. You can buy in America uh, for probably a quite reasonable price, but in the export market, if you can get it, I've never seen this bottle in Oz. Uh, be extremely careful, as I say, it's normally those are flip bottles, those dramatic bottles. They're, uh, this is 355 milliliter of whole fluid ounce, they're about 18 fluid ounces, so, and this, in Oz, you should pay about $3 for this. Um, any more you can have, absolutely fuck. Any less, wow. Um, could you buy a box for like, 16 bucks because it's eight months past use by date and some liquidation out there. If so, tell me! I think it's in Melbourne Oz, not Melbourne, Florida, Melbourne Ozzy. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that was a good one. Nice lingering lamp. Woo, man. Uh, two thumbs up, Belge. That was a Bang her. One way or another, that's gonna leave a stench. Okay, now I've explained why I can see to be the differences, and I can have all of that, so. I'm about to stay out of here.